It's pretty insane damage. And the Lich dies to the homing missile. That was it. It was just homing missile, nothing else. Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy Speed here, and today we're gonna be talking about Gyrocopter, specifically Gyrocopter Support, a hero that has increased by 3% win rate over the last day since the release of 7.34e. The reason why the hero is better now, especially as a support, is they increased rocket barrage damage. It went from six damage per rocket to eight, right? That's obviously a very significant increase for level one trading, and it's very notable throughout the laning stage. Also, the ability just does two more damage at max as well, and when you're using your shard, which puts rocket barrage on the homing missile, and you're using rocket barrage, it's very noticeable how much extra damage for extra damage is. It really does matter. So, without further ado, I found this great game. It's honestly an absolute beasting of a performance. Uh, it was by Shanks, he's ranked 280, but honestly, I think his decision making was incredible. He gets kills everywhere, he stacks like a beast. I mean, this performance was nuts. All right, before we get into the main part of the video, I do want to let you guys know that I'm not only posting videos here on YouTube, I also frequently post videos on the website. If you don't know what I'm talking about, almost every single day I'm posting a new video to the Game League website. We're going to teach you guys in depth about how to get to the next level. So if you want to become absolutely broken, click the link down below and sign up. All right, so let's get into it with the pre-rune fight. Basically, you want to skill Rocket Barrage nowadays because of how good it is now. And basically, you just want to get in people's face. Obviously, you have to be a little careful, but your hero is pretty tanky. It's a 700 HP hero with only two branches. It has six armor. It just doesn't have a built-in stout shield because it's a ranged hero. So that's what makes it not as tanky. But I like that he kites out here. You know, he's being a little bit careful. Big onslaught from the Primal Beast. He's going to come back in when the Q comes up. And you kind of just want to get in there, right? Obviously, nothing too crazy here. Just getting aggressive, getting in, in people's faces. And also, you want to be attack moving. All right, so this is going to be a big thing that's very important for today's video, guys, which is attack moving. If you can't attack move, you really shouldn't play gyro support. I don't think the hero is that good if you can't attack move. And that might seem insane, but really, the value of the hero is that you'll see... Uh, when he's going into this trade here, if he wants to go on someone, let's say he wants to kill the Phoenix, right? It's important that when he has his Q on, he's hitting and then moving, hitting and then moving. Because your hero has incredible base attack speed at 153, and so you can hit way more often than other people can. But this also means you have to stop to hit way more than other people have to. And so you need to move, right, as he's going to go. And you can see in between hits, he's going to move forward, right? Hit, move forward, hit, move forward. And this is crucial for the hero, right? Even here, hit, move forward, hit, move forward. And it allows him to get a lot of extra damage. Uh, nice kill by the Primal Beast. All right, now in the laning stage, your hero has bad attack range. That's the downside, 365, like it's horrendous. And so the key is to play the tree line. You don't want to trade one-on-one -on -one with most supports just out in the open. It just won't be favorable. So I kind of like that he's just sort of avoiding trading here. Uh, Lich isn't too good at trading. He's going to turn on his Q to secure the range creep. And then basically he's going to watch to see if Lich comes into the open. Because if any support will take a one-on-one -on -one close range trade, they lose. It's very straightforward. These fights are always bad. And hit, move, hit, move. You can see he can keep the rocket barrage going while hitting the Lich. If you don't do this, you will not feel good about playing this hero. It will not seem very good. From there, he unblocks the large camp, and with the wave under tower, you know, you can play this five or four guys. I think it's fine in both roles, just about playing the tree line. Oh yes, be careful, they're level two. But yeah, your hero, what it does best is just annihilates people in the one-on-one, -on -one, right? Due to its insane stats and rocket barrage being buffed, like the Lich will walk up here in a second, and Lich is level two, so he even has a stat advantage, right? But like the rocket barrage just kind of chunks people, right? One auto, rocket barrage, and it pushes them away. And eventually they end up taking out the CK, right? The CK kind of extends and you want to use rocket barrage off the creep wave. You don't want to run into the creep wave and cast a spell, but he kind of baits in the CK to extend here. But yeah, you can't trade with this, this new buffed version of gyro. It's just too hard, right? Even with the creep here, he's just absolutely bodying the guy, drops a blood grenade with a homing missile, a little bit of attack moving, waits for the Q to come back up and gets the kill. I mean, really good execution as they find the frag. From there, he's going to place down a hill ward. I think he wanted to get the Lotus. Yes, yeah, so he's going to get the Lotus here, which is super huge and going to help out his axe. Nothing too crazy here, right? These engagements aren't the best. This is where it gets good. If they chase, right? If they chase off the creep wave, you just instantly win the fight. But all right, the main spike for Gyro always has been level three. And now, you know, he's better at level one. Technically, the percentage increase for level one rocket barrage is way more significant than the level two increase, right? Because it's just two extra damage flat at all levels. But still, this hero cooks now. I will say, though, that a big theme throughout this video is going to be him stacking. He's so good about stacking this game. And this is why this guy's high MMR, right? Like he knows, okay, Axe and Primal Beast both are very good stack takers. 
and if I do that, it's just gonna enable their game like crazy. From there, he picks up the bounty rune, he queues up his boots, he's got some mana items which you need, you need to buy the occasional clarity, you should have raindrops because your hero is always frontlining and needs mana, and a wand for the same exact reason. But yeah, he's gonna come mid and kind of ganks up the SF. Uh, Gyrocopter is extremely good against SF because your gap close is incredibly good against heroes that cannot disjoint it. And so yeah, easy kill onto the SF, look at this damage. <laughs> the Primal Beast plus Gyrocopter burst damage is nuts. Yeah, from there he's gonna go back and stacks in the next minute, so incredible efficiency. Hits up the mid gank, stacks up the ancients, comes mid to try to contest the rune. Unfortunately, he's a little bit late here, so he doesn't get it. Goes for the D ward on mid, gets denied because the enemy SF is a beast. Picks up his boots, and boots is when you can really start to look to chase people down. You'll see in this clip here, they kind of just hit up the three-man gank, and it's a very easy execution, right? Rocket barrage into the homing missile, and yeah, it's just a chase down. Very few heroes will live to a combo like this, Right, the Maledic plus the Rocket Barrage is insane damage. And yeah, from there, honestly, Diving Towers is very good as this hero because you actually don't have to ever attack them in this case. And if you never issue an attack command, you won't pull aggro of the tower. And so yeah, you're very, very good at Diving Towers and you should be open to doing so, especially the enemy safe lane tower. If you're position five, hitting the portal and wrapping is insanely broken. And then kind of the same thing, if you're position four, ask your position five to hit the portal and you're almost always gonna get a kill. From there, honestly, this is my favorite thing about his gameplay. I don't know how intentional this is, maybe this guy's the GOAT, but I truly believe in what he's doing too, which is he slows down the pace of the game now. And I also kind of agree that this is when Gyro isn't the best. It's not that you don't do a lot of damage, but it can often be hard to gap close at this point in the game. Unless your team is popping smokes, getting melee range is a little bit difficult. Thankfully, your hero's absurdly fast, and I actually think he should have a win lace instead of the circlet. I do believe that movement speed is kind of the name of the game on Gyrocopter, so you can close the gap. But I, I like that he farms up bottom here. He's willing to slow down the pace of the game. He farms up the Veil, which he doesn't buy right away because he's kind of waiting for his shard as <laughs> he stacks with the homing missile. Oh no, it didn't work. No. <laughs> but yeah, he's willing to farm up bottom, get levels in his homing missile, get levels in his rocket barrage, and the main timing of the hero is minute 15. One thing that's nice about this hero too as a support is it's good at clearing waves. Two rocket barrage kills the wave. It's obviously not insanely fast, but it's pretty good, right? It's definitely solid. And so yeah, you can farm quite a bit on this hero. If you really want to farm on this hero and the game is super slow paced, which I wouldn't really recommend, you can buy mana boots, but it's definitely not something I suggest. You should be focusing on buying things like Glimmer Cape, Veil, Four Staff, and most importantly, you want to save gold and buy your shard at exactly minute 15. You should not bank on the Tormentor. This is how your hero is good. Yeah, but okay, in this mid fight here, you can see very easy. Drops the Veil, drops the homing missile, drops the Q, and people just evaporate. Obviously, Obviously the guy was eating a death ward and a trample as well, but it's insane damage. I do want to quickly highlight this clip here where he ends up going down as what you have to be careful about. Because of the fact that Rocket Barrage is a melee range spell, you're often going to get caught in shit like this for like, you're in range of the egg, you're in range of the, the Lich Holt. It was a bit unlucky bounces on the Lich Holt to be honest, but like the Witch Doctor sort of killed him. <laughs> Yeah, that's where you're gonna die. So that's kind of why you want to wait till minute 15 because the hero can just spam homing missile and wait for opportunities where at this point of the game, you kind of feel the need to use your Q, which gets you killed. All right, so now with Veil and Shard, I mean, this guy's insanely farmed because he stacked a lot and he got to farm up the bot wave and he has seven assists and four kills. <laughs> Everything's kind of going right for him this game, obviously. Uh, but yeah, at this point in the game, I mean, look at this Nyx Assassin. This was funny as hell. <laughs> look at this. So he veils the guy, right? Drops the veil, puts a homing missile with the shard on him, and look at his health. Look at this Nyx's health. What in the world? He got solo killed by the homing missile and one cooldown missile. To be fair, if you guys are playing against gyro support, face tank the missile. Don't run away from it. Unless your teammates can kill it for you or you can like dodge it with, with Yules or something that's coming off cooldown. Otherwise, don't do that. But yeah, this hero in these fights with the shard timing annihilates. This is your major timing and you'll see as the CK goes in, sorry, the Lich comes in first. He's going to instantly kill the Lich. He was afraid of the Phantasm, which makes sense, but the Lich is just going to get shredded by the homing missile. It switches onto the CK and look at this damage. I mean, you just rip people to shreds as he kills off the CK. Now next, he's going to buy a Kaya, which honestly I don't like. I do think there's some merit to buying this E-Blade that he's buying. You can solo kill the hell out of people. But honestly, guys, in most games, I would recommend buying a defensive item. Your hero's reasonably easy to kill. 
and you just need to stay alive and spam W. So honestly, going something like Mana Boots and a Glimmer, in my opinion, is way better than, than Kaya. I kind of think going Kaya is a meme and highly unnecessary. It's only 8% spell out. Yes, when you get E-Blade, it's obviously 12%, which is not nothing. Obviously, it's significant. But I just think that once again, you want to stay alive and be able to save your teammates, especially considering you get up close and personal in all these fights. But yeah, in the team fights, just get off your spells early, right? Obviously, a very easy veil here on a two. Should have used call down a bit earlier. He's definitely slowing the call down here. Uh, but oh my god, what a cast from the Witch Doctor. And yeah, they just ripped the enemy team apart. All right, and if you're looking to have a good time, then obviously you should go E Blade with Veil. I mean, look at this clip here. It's pretty funny. He ends up dying. <laughs> kind of a suicide bomber here. But uh, look at this. He drops the E Blade, drops the Veil, dies. Doesn't even get to use his Q. And the Lich dies to the homing missile. That was it. It was just homing missile, nothing else. <laughs> It's pretty insane damage. So yeah, if you're looking to have a good time, you go that build. But honestly, guys, like going Aether Lens, Glimmer, Force Staff, I would say is generally the way to go. But all right. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. This hero is really fun and I'm looking forward to playing it myself. And I'll see you in the next one. And that's all. But remember, before you leave, come on, before you tune out, subscribe to the Game Leap website where we are going to help you get to the next rank. If you're stuck, click the link down below and I'm out. Peace.